If you're considering LASIK surgery, there are so many reasons to consider it. You can't see and you want to see, right? What about the cost? Do you know there's actually cost involved with wearing glasses? People never figure that out. They don't know that over a lifetime they can actually save money. And what about technology? You want the best technology, right? The, you want cutting edge technology, but you also want experience. And there's a lot to talk about. Dr. John Dishler is here to help us make decisions. Dr. John Dishler from the Dishler Eye and LASIK Institute. And, and John, we have talked many, many times about yes. who you've helped. <laughs> and examples were people who were told they couldn't have LASIK. And we have Jennifer Mack with us. Can you explain what happened? You said she was told she couldn't have it? Yes, Jennifer came to us. She said she was told she couldn't have LASIK. Her eyes were too bad. Another center turned her down uh, here in Denver. And we looked at her and said, you know, with the new technology and with what we can do with your eyes, we think we can do it. And even though her eyes were... 21,000. Now, when, first of all, what does that mean? An eye test, when you say 20 slash 1,000, what does it mean? Well, it means 2020, let's start with that, means you can see something at 20 feet that you should be able to see at 20 feet. 21,000 means that someone that had normal vision could see something 1,000 feet away. She could only see it 20 feet away. So what I can see at 1,000 feet, she had to be 20 feet. Right. And the reality for her was she had to hold something, you know, right up to her nose, right? Really? To, yeah, exactly. To see like it. right in front of my face. I couldn't. You had glasses at what age? Um, about five years old. Five years old yeah. and, and never stopped wearing them until now. Yeah. And they were pretty thick, too. So they switched me to hard, rigid lenses when I was in second grade. And so it's just kind of been an ongoing battle with my eyesight. So. And your father, he saw, he heard about? He saw it on um, time. Martino when I was in Hawaii and he called me up and he said that I should, you know, check out Dishler when I get home and so that's what I did. And, so. and well, how uh, wait, wait, did you ever think about LASIK before? You did because you went somewhere else. I did. About three years ago I had went to another LASIK eye surgeon and tried to get, um, see if I was a candidate and they said that I wasn't. And did they was, say why? They said my prescription was too high and that the technology wasn't advanced enough to be able to treat me. And so they basically told me I would have to get corneal transplants if I wanted to do it. Wow. <laughs> So you went to Dr. John Dishler. How was the experience? It was great. It was um, pretty effort effortless. Like uh, they got me in and they said I was a candidate. And the next week I was scheduled for my surgery. So was, when did you notice a difference? Um, the very same day. I could totally read everything. It was a little in cloudy. their office. Yep, exactly. Right when I got out, I could see clearly and just kept kept getting better and better every day. You only had it two weeks ago, right? Yeah, and I can see 2015 now, so it's awesome. Wow. Better than 20. Better than 20. Better than 20. You, you, <laughs> you, were at, you had to be at 20 feet to see what most people can see at 1,000. Now yeah. you can see. At 15 feet, she can see what people, normal people can't, you yeah. know. It, it's, or she can see things 20 feet away that normal people can only see 15 feet away. Exactly. It's yeah. just the opposite. Reverse, You're reverse, better yeah. than normal. Better than perfect. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, by the way, what I want to know is the expense of glasses. Let's talk about that. Right. Because people say, well, I can't afford LASIK. First of all, we should mention that uh, there, there is financing available. But let's talk about the cost of glasses, especially if you have glasses like she had. But let's take these numbers right here, if we can look at them. You know, we we've, we've analyzed this, Tom. And, and other people have as well. And someone, you know, young like Jennifer, over the course of a lifetime, uh, can save over fifty thousand dollars in the cost of glasses. Contacts. And here's why: because you have um, you have uh, year, yearly costs people don't consider, like right. contacts and glasses and prescriptions, right? And so, at age twenty-five, a lifetime of glasses will cost you fifty-two thousand, right? Right. And 9,000 for LASIK and all the other exams. Okay, so what about this? This is at age 40. You still have savings of 30,000 over a lifetime. If you really amortize this over a lifetime, age 35, age 30, it goes on. You still save. The younger you are, the more you will save. The younger you are, the more you'll save. But even at age 50, there's still a significant savings. And that's one of the reasons, Jennifer, she told us that part of the reason she was having this done was because it was so hard, you know, being so nearsighted and being dependent on contacts. But part of the reason was she was aware of the cost savings, and she did this partly for, for saving the money over you know, the years that she's going to get to enjoy this. Absolutely. Now, extremely nearsighted plus astigmatism, right? Yes. yes. And you are a student of biology? Yes, are conservation gonna... biology. Yep. What do you want to do? Um, I would really love to work with the National Wildlife Research Center or um, just do something to help protect the environment. And How so has this changed you? It's 
uh, an unbelievable change. I, I really wasn't able to see the landscape when I was outside. You know, my contacts would give me problems and glasses were just really hard to hike in. And so now that I can be outside and see clearly, it's just totally changed my life. It's got to reprogram my brain almost to do it. <laughs> Let's talk about why you could do it. Let's talk about the technology. Right. Advances. What, what, advances in the technology. There's, the prescription there's, was too much, they said. Explain. Right. Because back then, and in, in some centers still today, they're using the bladed microkeratome, which is very imprecise in making the corneal flap. We use all laser method in all patients and we have this very advanced all laser method called the Visumax where we can make extremely extremely thin and accurate flaps that follow the curvature of the eye much less invasive into the eye so it leaves us more room to do higher prescriptions and then we team that with a laser that can do these prescriptions FDA approved for these high prescriptions like she has and the combination of the two lets us fix people that previously weren't candidates for this kind of procedure. If you were going to talk about the average um, correction, the average correction, where would Jennifer have stood here? Where, where does she stand here? Uh, is it twice? She's, is, she's, about, three times, four she's, times? she's about twice as bad, was twice as bad as the average person that has this done, but we do people that are, again, a third worse than she was. Really? She wasn't even the worst case? So she's case. not the worst case, no. Twenty. Slash 1,000 is not the worst case. That's correct. Wow. Right. So I, I say, you know, it's, it's got to do with the eyes being healthy. Right. And not so much what the prescription is. So if someone is interested in looking into this, they should come and have a free evaluation and find yes. out if they are a candidate. Because many times people are surprised to find out that they really farsighted people, people with very high astigmatisms, sometimes people that were told they weren't candidates really are candidates. So if we do the math here, uh, you can see it's a savings over glasses, especially yeah. someone like Jennifer. Your yeah. glasses must have been very expensive in your context. Yeah, uh, glasses were about $600 for oh. the frames and lenses. Think about and that. Yeah. Just normal glasses are 300 now, right? Right. And right. so you think about glasses, yours were 600, exams are expensive, and then maintenance of, of contacts, if, yeah. you, if you wear contacts. Yeah, you have to factor in, you know, contact solution, eye drops, the cleaning supplies. And the hassle. Exactly. All of that. So if you take a lifetime, you saw that savings can even at age 50 amount to $20,000 or right. more. Right. And so when you consider that, and then you consider the technology now available to correct almost any eye condition, and, and, and Dr. John Dishler's office is not going to push you into it if they don't think you're a candidate. So here's what they want you to do. Come in for a complimentary consultation and a tour of the facility. Very right. important, very important. Very important. And now, if you're a candidate, whether you schedule surgery or not, they're going to give you a, um, an iPod just for coming in, a free iPod just for coming in. And it's the lowest guaranteed price, the lowest guaranteed price. And you're holding the Forbes magazine. You ought right. to mention that since you're well, holding it. You were named. I'm kind of proud of this because they only picked 10 doctors in the whole country as the top LASIK surgeons for Forbes. And right. In 2009, we were one of those 10, and they've just recently contacted us about that we're going to possibly be again in 2010. Wow, that's so incredible. We don't know that for sure, but at least in 2009, we were one of the top Here ones. it is. His number is 303-793-3000, 793-3000, the number right there, or dishler.com, dishler.com.